Hello, hello, internet comrades. This is Elyria Sings, and we're trialing Stardew Valley as our first Let's Play. So let's go. And hopefully this is uh, gonna work out this time. I have uh, done several uh, recordings before now, uh, trying to get the kinks worked out in my understanding and in sound quality. Um, all right. Anyway, the reason we're choosing Stardew Valley is because it is a game that I've put 3,000 hours into, so I can do this without thinking, and it is something very easy for me to talk about consequently as well, and to give advice on for anybody interested in uh, insane amounts of min-maxing. So let's start a new game. Now, for this trial, we're going to be starting with, okay, one thing, skip intro. And we're doing the basic game. Um, I want to, uh, once I am sure this is working out well, uh, I want to restart the game with uh, a lot of mods. Um, at a certain point, you get a bit tired of, uh, I mean, it's only got so much content as it is, and there's a lot of wonderful modded content out there. Uh, oh, we don't like this brown hair. It's uh, really not us. We're uh, rather red hairish. Red hairish? Uh, oh, oh, wait, no, oops, that's the eye color. Not paying attention. I mean, we like the red eyes too, but uh, let's make them a little more ruby red, perhaps. Although we could try to, I usually do go for some kind of an approximation of my own appearance, so we could do more of a greeny gray, blue, some kind of thing like that. <laughs> variable. Yeah, sure. Okay, now actually hair color. Um, we want it to be nice and bright red, black pants. Um, we like big hair, and uh, I always choose femme gender, I guess. Um, some of the mods actually, like they've got uh, things that add uh, more genders and um, non-binary options and poly relationships and stuff like that. I really, uh, I've, I've used a little bit of that, but I would definitely like to play around with that kind of thing some more. Um, da -da -da. Yeah, sure, that'll work. And do we want this big hair? Yeah, this big hair will do. We like this big hair today. And our cat is going to look like uh, my actual cat's ish. A Mal cat, tabby cat, whatever you want to call it. Illyria. And Illyria Farm Farm. Favorite theme, we're going with pain. We like pain. All right, and we're going to do standard farm again. This is just a very basic trial to see how we do uh, now that I've got some of the kinks worked out. All right, and we're skipping the intro also in part because... Um, again, this is a this is just to see how this goes, uh, and also because I'm gonna assume that if you're watching this and you're in Stardew Valley at all, you probably have seen the intro. And frankly, it's really not like super duper relevant. Uh, I mean, particularly for this purpose, but I, I could play it, um, play through it. You know, when I start up one of the mods, uh, or not one of the mods, when I start up with a modded game. Um, and I love to mod the shit out of this game. Uh, a lot of them have to do with, that I like to put on there are with mechanics such as, um, I like being able to walk, run faster. Um, I find it uh, kind of just to be an annoying limiter to walk this slowly, uh, which I guess is kind of related to my love of min-maxing this kind of game. And we like our stuff like that for now. Um, all right, so. The first thing we do is we clear out this area here. Now this grass right here, you see that stuff? Nothing's coming from it. Uh, and nothing will until you get some silos put up. And at that point, you'll actually get some feed from it um, that you can st obviously that goes straight to your silos, uh, gets stored there, and that is feed for your animals. Um, we want to get at least uh, 50 wood. What am I doing? Okay. Uh, because we want to uh, get on top of getting a chest or two uh, set up. You can see the inventory here. 
It's pretty limited. We only have 12 slots right now. Uh, we get these backpack upgrades. It'll go to 24, then 32. Uh, and there's a mod that I put on uh, my games that gives me uh, yet another lineup. So I've got another option to go all the way up to 48 slots. So yet another limiter that I like to extend out a bit. Um, you know, I mean, you still have to work for getting your backpacks, but you've got just, you know, one more option. And, uh, all right. And then, so some of the other mods, so like I was mentioning, some of them are about mechanical things. Um, you know, the uh, delimiting uh, certain aspects of the game. Um, broadening them out a bit. Uh, but then there's a lot of them it's about, uh, well, just getting content, you know, more content, more characters, uh, more possibilities for relationships and, you know, interesting stories and so on. Uh, also, you know, expanding the, uh, um, the uh, mining and fighting uh, kind of stuff too. I like that. All right, so we're gonna get these trees out of the way uh, and get us that 50 wood. Now this fiber, the, not the grass, but the fibery looking stuff or what turns into what it, it calls fiber. Here we go, right here. Um, that is uh, going to randomly give you mixed seeds which are, uh, you lay them down and you get randomized, uh, seasonal, uh, seasonally appropriate seeds, uh, started. And you won't know what they are unless you just recognize the particular, you know, little shape, I suppose. Um, yeah, certain seeds are distinctive. We really don't need to be doing all this down here. I'm just kind of fiddling around. Yep. All right. So before we kill our energy entirely, let's go ahead and get this set up. And we want to set this up as the little eight spot slot spot something. Um, and that's for uh, future, theor theoretical future uh, um, sprinklers. And we got the So we're going to set this up so that we get the eight sprinkler that waters all of those spots. And you put that in the middle. Um, and there's, there are, uh, three different sprinklers. So the first earliest one you get is one that does four spots. It does kind of this cardinal direction stuff, which is really annoying. Um, it's almost, I mean, it has a use because early on you, your energy is very tight. Uh, your watering can, what it can do and how much you can water, you know, is limited, uh, but it's, I, I don't really like it. As soon as I can, I try to get the next one up, which is the eight, eight plot slot, plot spot. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we can go ahead and make our chest. So this channel is going to be kind of rather broad in both uh, the game content and the kinds of things I'll be just sort of chatting about. So, uh, the games will be things like this, but also things like um, whenever the Final Fantasy 16 game comes to, uh, the new Final Fantasy game 16 comes out on uh, Steam eventually. Um, that's a game that I would love to play on here, um, and share, stream, record, whatever. And we're going to be recording for now. Uh, at some point, you know, we'll, uh, you know, we'll consider streaming, but for the time being, um, just want to stick with recording. All right, so we've got these kind of, uh, journal, uh, quests and... So cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Uh, visit Gunter at the museum. We've already picked up an, uh, 
as you can see, this right here, this artifact, we've already dug one out. So we can go ahead and give him one of those and get that quest thing started. And then introduction. So there's two people we've met already, and you didn't see that because that was in the introduction. We met the mayor and Robin. Uh, we got to meet all these 28 people, and then it upgrades to the next quest, which is like give somebody a gift or something. So yes, hello. Hello, Harvey, town doctor. Um, it isn't urgent that you go and have to uh, meet everybody today. It's impossible anyway. Um, and we're a big fan of dumpster diving. But uh, you got to make sure nobody's watching you, though. Uh, well, if you care to <laughs> keep improving your friendship points with them at any rate, uh, they get they get a little uh, pissy about it and your friendship takes a hit or whatever. Not a big hit, but you know. Uh, but I value getting all of these relationships to their, their full amount of hearts because uh, you get story uh, things from that. We got our calendar here uh, that gives you birthdays and events. Um, and uh, also, you know, they'll start giving you recipes, you know, so on and so forth. And those recipes, some of them are really handy. So, and that's the, uh, like, kind of miniature, like, two-day quest stuff that gets posted. Uh, various people ask you to do a thing or bring them a thing, usually. Um, yeah, and you get gold and friendship points and so on and so forth from that. Okay, uh, we want to get two bean starters and two cauliflowers and two potatoes. The reason for this is that there's going to be this ongoing community center questing, and it uh, is going to ask for uh, the produce from one bean, one potato, one cauliflower, and one parsnip. So we go ahead and get that started, especially those two that are, whoop, seven more. He starts just saying, can I get you anything at a certain point in here? Uh, uh, these, this takes 10 days, this takes 12 days, so you want to start on that ASAP. All right, now let's get over here. We're going to come say hello to the blacksmith and to Gunter at the museum. Uh, I don't have anything for the blacksmith today. Uh, what I mean by that is I don't have any geodes to crack. Uh, didn't happen to pick any up while I was knocking rocks out in the in front of the cabin. Uh, but you can shop here, which generally you're not going to really ever do that. There's not really a good reason to. Uh, like, it's very rare that that makes any sense. Okay, and then uh, upgrade tools. So we're going to have the opportunity to upgrade to copper, and then steel, and then gold, and then iridium. Each being progressively uh, more expensive. And let's go say hello. This is he's he's very moody and grumpy and awkward. He's got some uh, incel vibes. All right, more dumpster diving, and here we go. So, because we actually have a thing in our uh, inventory that's uh, an artifact, you know, we get this scene here that starts off this quest for putting things into this artifact collection, this museum. Uh, this, uh, you'll get various little items for delivering artifacts. Um, you know, every few artifacts or specific ones. Uh, also, um, at a certain point when you've, when you've got a lot of the collection, you will, uh, he'll, he'll come and give you some kind of an award thing and then send you a shit ton of gold. All right, yep. So we're definitely gonna donate, of course. <clears throat> All right, yeah, we can go and look in our journal, see this is done and we get 250 gold for it. I keep wanting to say Gil, probably because I was just thinking about Final Fantasy, but 
Anyway, so uh, tomorrow we will get a letter in the mail from the uh, town fisherman down here. Uh, he will be back in town and he'll tell us to uh, come and uh, pick up this um, fishing rod. It's his the most basic fishing rod. Uh, so we'll come do that and then on Wednesday we will definitely start fishing. We might do some tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. This is our local pretentious writer dude. Kind of Oh, what's his name? You know, what the hell is that guy's name? Pretentious beatnik. Uh, overrated garbage. Yeah, that. One of those kind of guys. One of those kind of people. Anyway. I mean, I guess he's alright. Whatever. Oh, let's grab this farage. Uh, we definitely like to grab the Farage, many, many of them. Um, those come in handy for quests, for gift giving, and then for planting uh, spring seeds, um, spring mix forage seeds that you can then plant a good bit of and get... Uh... Okay, so we had a little bit of an interruption there. I don't even really know if uh, that's going to be... Uh, you know, I might be able to just clip that off and we won't even see it or hear it. You won't even know about this. Okay, regardless, let's get back to it. Um, okay. Hello. Yes. Okay, so this is the local asshole. Uh, one of the local assholes. Uh, yeah, this... If it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind. <laughs> uh, but she has an arc where, you know, you get to, like, know her and all this other stuff. And she's she's becomes a little less of an asshole over time. Um, it's the same for several of the people in the town. Now, there are some that just keep, they just keep going. They keep sucking. Like, uh, Pierre, for example. He's just, yeah... Kinda, he's got some like wannabe capitalist you know, vibes, which is kind of funny because, uh, you know, uh, kind of part of this game is this, uh, you know, there's this local uh, store. Well, it's not, it isn't local. Well, I mean, it's local in that it's like located locally, but it's a, it's a corporation that, uh, has planted one of their things in town, um, Joja, that's it. And, uh, you know, putting the community center together and whatnot uh, basically is kind of how you eventually run them out of town. Um, so it's like, oh, just say no to corporate capitalism, I guess. I mean, now I'm of the opinion of just say no to capitalism, but like, you know, I can just about be okay with, you know, you got this little town and people are, you know, selling to each other and whatnot and I guess theoretically taking care of one another or something. Uh, at least that's the, like, that's the, that's the lore in my head. <laughs> Alright, let's drop some of these things off and, um, we're gonna keep one of those. Oh, you know what, let's, no... Hmm, you know, no, let's drop this off. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up some spring onions from down south. Now, they don't really give you a lot of energy, but it's a, it's enough to kind of get you a little extra uh, very early on in the game. Um, they're not even really worth selling either, you know, barely. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Um, although, you know, let, let's go ahead and at least get these two down because they are, they do take so long and I don't want to end up doing that thing where I, you know, I get so uh, uh, lost and being off and checking out other things that I, um, whoop. Okay, we can, we can do the watering. We, we can make time for that though. Uh, but, you know, I don't want to get up here and be like, oh, it's almost 2 a.m. We gotta, we gotta get into the place. We can't actually plant this after all or whatever. Okay. Now this grass slows us down even more. It's very 
very vexing <laughs> uh, at a certain point. I mean, it's not vexing early on, you know, when you like if when you first start playing this game and you're just like, okay, I'm I'm piddling along, I'm doing the thing, uh, but then. Um, you know, you play this so many times, and it's like, okay, let's go, let's go. Uh, well, I, any, the, I do. I mean, now I know someone who plays this with the uh, aim of just sort of piddling along and chilling, and you know, that's what that's what they like. They like the opposite of min max. Um, so you know, you know, do you, as the uh, children say? Let's see. Yeah, we got some spring onions. Enough to at least get us a little tiny bit of energy so we can get those last ones. And oh, we even got a gold star one, so that'll actually maybe fetch us something that's sort of okay anyway. Good enough. And yeah, let's down another one. Okay, any more down here? No, but we do have some more Farage. Okie doke. And I think. No, no, we've only got three of the spring forage. And you get four uh, items per spring forage, four for fall, four for winter, and three for summer. <clears throat> the one that we haven't come across yet is actually the one that I really like to get a hold of in higher amounts because it's uh, worth a little more uh, for energy but more important than that though because uh, I usually won't even waste it on that um, it's something that is a great gift for uh, George uh, the local uh, grumpy old man you know trope person uh, and the reason we care about that is because, you know, you start doing that early on, you get your friendship up with him, and then he gives you a recipe that's great to have early on in the game uh, for uh, mining and fighting, being in the mines. Um, I think it gets you plus two on your mining and, you know, uh, gives you some energy and health back and all that good stuff. All right. We're actually making okay time. It's really not as bad as I was concerned it would be. Uh, you have up till 2 a.m. to get thine ass up in your house. Uh, and if you don't, even if you are outside at your front door, you will get a thing the next morning. It's like, hey, we found you lying out here and somebody pickpocketed and, and they took off with some money and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, yeah. Now, it, it'll cost you, basically. Oh, let's drop that in the to-go box. And, oh, okay. Alrighty. And we'll water that, and that, and that. Alright, let's drop this in here. And you'll see in just a moment. Oh, actually, one more thing. There, and there. Uh, you'll see in just a moment that how small of an amount of gold you get from that. <clears throat> I mean, even for early game, it's it's very, very tiny. Okay, go in here and we'll fill up those last two spaces. So, uh, I was going to tell you that on the third day, it rains. Um, it rains on the fifth day and I think on the seventh day as well. Uh, so the third day, you know, you get your fishing rod the second day. You can do some fishing that day because that can fetch you some money early on and that's great. Um, but then the third day it's raining, which is a great day to go fishing for various reasons. One, you will not have to expend energy on watering your plants. Um, two, uh, that's a day where you can get some eels. Um, and this is specifically in the spring. So in the spring and in the fall, when it's raining, you can fish for eels in the ocean between the hours of 4 p.m. and 12 a.m., I believe. I don't think it goes to 2 a.m. Um... And that's great because uh, it's going to be on one of your quests. It's part of uh, um, this recipe that's great for uh, any point in the game, honestly, early, mid, or late. And uh, it fetches a little bit better money than a lot of the other fish do early on. Um, 
so yeah, we love that. We love that. All right, and look, we, we've done enough foraging today that we've gone ahead and uh, earned ourselves a level up on foraging, one plus one axe proficiency. Sometimes uh, the trees drop seeds, which means now we can actually start uh, digging up those seeds. If we had tried to do that before, we it would just disappear. You wouldn't get anything. So you have to wait for this uh, to pop up and then you can actually get something from... Um, and you, I'll show you in a moment. You'll see. Um, we get the wild uh, seed spring recipe. So once we actually have all four of those, we can go ahead and make a 10 set of these and then we can grow them ourselves and so and that kind of ties back into being able to make some money off of it and being able to kind of reproduce more of it so that you um, have more resources from that, either for gift giving or for eating or recipes or, you know, whatever. Um, and then field snack, that's one that gets made by using the three different types of uh, tree seeds that you can pick up. And there, see, as you can see, even with that being a gold star, it's 12 G, 12 gill. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's very tiny, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Every little bit is helpful this early in the game. 